what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we got another video for you it's actually uh we're gonna do an egg pulling our second egg pulling ever we finally hit clutch number two so we're gonna jump right into this if you come and take a look boom you can see our girl calliope she's a lesser originally produced by brian barcheck we're trying to hit bells she's a first time mother She's uh, oh, she doesn't see. Oh, yeah, she's a little reactive. All right, so she's a little scared. So what we're gonna do is, yeah, she's gonna try to tag me now. I fucked up. I went too slow. All right, so just real quick, put this down over her head. I oh, yep, she's kicking. She's not happy. I know, Mama. All right, let me grab her. Relax. Okay, down over the head. Get her up. Oh my God, it's a massive clutch. I was not expecting this much. And I kind of messed up. Yesterday was a busy day with work and everything. Um, did not check her last night. So I don't know if she laid these last night or if she laid them early this morning. But as you can see, she's very empty. She lost a lot of size, a lot of weight. I don't even need to finish feeling all the way down her body. She is good. First time mother. Got all these babies out. So what we're gonna do is, just like we did with the last one, right from the tub, right into a bath of soap, water. Let her get this smell off of her. We want her back on food right away. Um, we got our egg box right here. So what we're gonna try to do is, we're gonna see how connected these things are and um, see if we can pull them apart. If we can't, if we can't, then, um, you know, we'll leave them together as a mass. Before we do that, let's see, we'll check the top of the eggs. They all look good. Just one, two, and I'm only not checking for the embryo with this because I think they've been sitting for a while. So everything is probably already settled. So we're just going to think just like this. No, I'm not even counting. I'm just marking. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, at least a 10 egg clutch, which is massive. This is amazing. Like I said, first time mom, first time laying, 10 egg clutch, man. She's definitely going to be a keeper. Um, I told you guys that anyways, with everything going on with Brian and stuff like that, because she was originally produced by him, I would never get rid of her, especially if she's... Uh, you know, uh, even, even, even if we just kept her as a pet. But seeing how big these clutches are and stuff like that, we might utilize her to make some crazy heads in the future. We'll see. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to lift all at once. Um, no, we got a pretty good clutch here. We're going to see. So this is my first time. I really do not want to rip any of these eggs. This is 10 chances to hit bells. She was paired to a pastel yellow belly butter. And after I attempt to pull these apart, I will actually show you the male. And we have... So... All right, guys. So if you've never um, had a clutch before or had to separate a clutch of eggs before pulling them apart is literally just a game of patience you want to be gentle you want to take your time kind of rock the egg back and forth and as you can see we got that first one up no problem second one right here just rocking it back and forth as you can see it's peeling no problem so we got two um, let's see, let's see, let's see. And just a little bit of pressure. You don't want to pull too fast or too hard. We are going to get this other bottom one right there. Boom, it's separated from one. Now, these are a little bit harder because obviously... 
they're all on top of each other. So instead of ripping it from just one egg, you need to separate it from two or three different eggs. But there, just like that, that's going to help tremendously. So we got egg number three right here. And we'll put some pins or, or Q-tips or something in this. Or maybe I'll switch out the tray. We got an easy hatch tray too downstairs we could utilize. There's four. Again, just a little slight pulling back and forth. No, 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 no. Okay. So now we got a tiny little tear in this one. So what you can do is right away, if this ever happens to you, you just stop. You find your, um, nope. You take scotch tape, just a little piece of scotch tape, a little bit right over the egg. And that's it. So if you give me one second, I'm gonna, I wasn't prepared. I didn't think I was going to rip an egg. I'm going to go get my scotch tape, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right. So as you can see, we have a little leak here. We're going to have to be extremely careful. There we go. So we got it to separate. So now what we're going to do is get a little yolk. We need to get it off from this one. We'll set that there. Right here. You can see the little hole in it, little pin size hole. So just very simple. And we're not going to squeeze it anymore. You're just going to take a piece of scotch tape. I'm going to put it right over where that hole is. That is literally it. If you want to be extra careful, yep. You want to be extra careful, little yolk, that's okay. Not too big of a deal. We'll go the other way. <laughs> right over where the hole is and that is essentially it so now i can't leave these two together we're finished tearing because they will be sitting oh i guess if they sit on top of each other like this huh they should no they'll still hatch it's just all right so i guess we'll finish pulling them apart this is going to be a little guy. This is a small egg right here, but um, it's going to definitely be the runt of the litter. So we got it. Boom, boom. That's it. So very, very simple. I think you could also use a little bit of glue or something like that if you wanted. But the second you stop squeezing it and like trying to separate it, a little piece of scotch tape. That egg should be perfectly fine. Um, I want to finish pulling these now. Now I'm a little scared, man. But I guess we'll try to finish pulling them. We already started. Just try to be very careful. Very, very, very careful when pulling these. Like I said, little movements back and forth. It obviously gets tougher when they're in such a big stack like this because you have more eggs to separate from each other. Um, me personally, I try to leave a little bit of room in between the eggs. I've seen other people who say they're superstitious and believe that they're all touching in the first place so that they should maybe be touching each other during incubation periods and maybe they have a way of connecting and... Uh, communicating while they're in the eggs, which is why they're all produced in a clutch like they are to begin with. So who really knows? I don't think there's any studies or anything like that on the difference between separating or keeping a clutch of eggs together. So that, for the most part, is going to be whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you personally believe. Me... I separate them a little bit just in case something gets moldy or dies or whatever. You don't want it to infect the other eggs. You want them, everything to have the best chance of living. So, which is why we give them a little bit of space. We got that one. Two more. And we're good to go. And then what we will do when we're done separating these guys is we'll candle them real quick. Make sure that everything's going to be okay. 
and we it's gonna be a tough one man as you can see you see that tearing it might leave a little tail what we call a tail on the egg but as long as it's not ripping through the egg yeah and we're good boom then you're all set so one two three four five one two three four five I know it's a huge clutch. Very exciting. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to candle these real quick, and then um, I will separate them. All right, so let's go to number one. As you can see right off the rip, huge, strong veins. Absolutely beautiful. You can see all the strong veins. Egg number two, tons of veins. Egg number three, all good, tons of veins. Egg number four, this may be a slug, guys. I can see a little bit of vein work here. I can see the embryo right on top. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that. No, it's supposed to be on top. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on this. This does have some vein work. Next one, holy shit, massive vein work. All right, so one so far here. Yeah, I'm going to let my boys check the next few. You can do two. Go ahead, press all the way to it. The little thing, tons of veins. Hold up, let me get a better thing. Yep, so tons of veins. Tons of veins. Let Jaden check. Thank you. Uh, yep, tons of veins. Sorry, guys. I'm... Tons of veins. No, I'll do the last one. Thank you. And tons of veins. So as you can see, I'll go over them again real quick. Veins, veins. I know I did a shoddy picture. The little one that has a little hole, veins, little, uh, what do you call this? The runt of the litter, veins. Back here, veins, veins, veins. Questionable. Very little. We'll see. Maybe she didn't have enough to fertilize all 10 eggs, but they're definitely, if you take a look right here on the side, you can see right there. Around where I drew, there's a very slight amount of veins and veins. So, yeah, no, it's massive there. So, that is it. We have clutch number two, two on the ground. We got our good mama right there washing off inside the dawn in warm water. Um, super excited. Clutch number two. I'm hoping for three more. We'll see where it goes. I know I definitely got at least one more coming. She should be laying any day, too. Yeah, that's it. So in uh, 55, 60 days, we'll do this pulling and uh, or cutting. We have another one coming to you guys in less than two weeks now. Technically, they're due on the 4th of July, so we can cut them at the very end of the month. So in like 10 days or so, yeah, we'll be cutting a clutch in 10 days. Or so maybe we'll wait see how the egg feels maybe we go the whole 60 days but the season's moving i appreciate you guys hanging in there uh we got some stuff coming next week that we just bought obviously the egg cutting everything else another pulling i'll see you guys soon thank you peace love and blessings from my family to yours have a good night